there are so many certifications out there. Um, professional certification is generally either vendor neutral, meaning generic. Here's the skill sets you need to have to be a network engineer. Or there's vendor specific, like a Microsoft or a Cisco, Windows XP. Usually an associate's degree will take you two years or an accelerated program may take you one. Certification courses are shorter term, two to three months, depending on the certification. That certification kind of tells the employer, hey, I know what I'm talking about in this area because I've gone through, I've said it, I've sat through, I've studied for it, I've taken this exam. My name is Joseph Zern and I'm a network engineer too at SunGuard. If you have a company that for some odd reason cannot get to their main site, whether it's a natural disaster, chemical disaster, or just something to do with the building, they can go off-site to a SunGuard building and we can uh, remotely move their circuits and their uh, operations to that, to that site and run it from there for as long as they need it. Well, I went to high school, and then I went to a trade school with air conditioning and refrigeration, and then I worked that for a while. I went one year at a community college, and then from there, I needed a job, and I ended up uh, with a company. And uh, they came to me and said, well, do you want to learn computers? And they would send me away for classes. So I was taking classes, and the more I got into it, I, I enjoyed the, the troubleshooting and the communications, so I kept on taking classes. SunGuard is a company that handles a lot of different things. We have financial service, we have network services, we support disaster recovery. Well, some of the, the clients that we help are uh, most of your uh, major hospitals, your schools, uh, your cities and uh, administration buildings. You know, a company, when they're in a disaster, they're in a panic mode. And you got to work with that and try to get them connected, and you got to keep that in mind that. This is their company, this is their lifeline. Try to get them connected, try to give them anything they need at the time to get them up and working. Specifically within Joe's team, they are doing a lot of provisioning, working with circuits, um, MPLS, and routing protocols and switches in general to um, really make sure that the health of the network is there, as well as being able to um, implement new equipment into the network as well for our customers. Our group becomes tight-knit really quick because we support each other in everything we do. We're constantly training each other, so you get in there close. It's a close group. We go out to lunch together and we become very tight. So in any job, having the technical skills are important, uh, but you also want to find candidates that are going to best fit uh, with the team because we do um, really focus on teamwork and in a lot of the roles, especially the one that Joe's in, there tends to be a lot of fixing of issues and resolving of issues. So problem solving is huge and being able to rely on your teammates to help get to a resolution quickly is very important. Um, we also look for people who can work independently on projects as well. Um, Joe possessed both of those skills. It can be intense and sometimes it can be long hours too. It, it's not a nine to five job. You know, you got to deal with the customer because the customer is in panic mode and stay there to it's fixed. Sometimes it's two, three hours, sometimes it's more. And that's part of the job too. It's not, you know, a cut and dry whistle goes off at five, you go home. Uh, sometimes you have to work that job until they're up. Typically more of our technical roles around network engineer, network administrators, those types of roles don't typically require that you have a four-year degree. Um, as long as you have the hands-on experience and the years of experience will range depending upon the position. Your early salary ranges can be anywhere from like uh, 30 to 50 within that range. The more certifications you get and move up in service, the higher your salary range is. And you can go up to an easy six figure if you go to like the top of Cisco, the top of a Juniper. IT is always hot, always hiring. Um, typically has lower unemployment percentages than national unemployment just due to the fact that they are um, in need and I think always will be as long as IT pretty much continues to be around. There's a broad uh, view of different jobs, uh, security to networking, what I do, to administration, to, uh, it's, and worldwide, there, there's all kinds of stuff from voice to data to cell phones, and it's only growing. I've always had a job, I've always moved on, and to be honest with you, I've always gotten a job <laughs> that I like. Uh, 
A lot of people, you know, they have to take the job because they need the money. I was lucky enough, and I think it's because of, you know, this, this type of job, that my whole career I was always lucky. This is the type of job I wanted, and I was able to pick and enjoy it. For years I worked just weekend shifts, and so I was home with my kids. I, I did a 40 hour week, I worked three 12s on the weekend. It's a 24 an hour, seven day a week job. I never had to get daycare, I worked at home. I was home for uh, my kids for homework, for uh, dinner, and then I worked on the weekend, and my wife was off on the weekend. You can always find a communication shift that will fit your lifestyle. It used to be, you know, every year something new would come out. Now it's every week or every month it changes. So it's an ongoing thing, which is kind of nice because it doesn't get old, it doesn't get stale, you're not doing the same things every day. It's not going to stop, it just keeps running like a freight train. You just have to keep up with it.